It's Tim again. I hope this finds you well. Uh, today, I'd be I'd like to talk to you a little bit about some things that our industrial customers are doing and how we're helping them automate their water management. Are you still trying to fight uh, manual controls of your system uh, in terms of your water quality and consum consumption of your chemicals? Um, feel like you're always flying blind when you have a problem, you don't really know what's going on, and you're always being reactionary, and really you're waiting every month until your customer, until your service engineer comes and tells you that something's wrong. Well, we feel that pain, and today I'd like to introduce you a little bit about something that we've been working on with our partners here at KimReady. The reality is there's lots of ways you can do this, um, but today we want to focus on wastewater applications, uh, and later I'll tell you a little bit about some of the offerings we have for water treatment as it pertains to our boilers and cooling tower systems. So if your water quality goes out of spec and equipment fails, discharge permits are in jeopardy, it may take days or even weeks before you even notice it. And that can cause you a lot of costly issues uh, as it pertains to your discharge permit itself. Um, a digital water treatment controller puts a continuous eye on things and ultimately on your equipment. So if an issue arises, you know immediately you can take corrective action. Uh, and a KimReady engineer also allow, it allows us to monitor that stuff um, automatically and in real time 24 hours for you. It also gives us feedback in terms of alerts to which then we can respond within hours as opposed to days. So how does the how do these work? Behind me here I've got two different controllers from Walkim, one's an i9 and one's an i6. Both of these comes with 420 uh, signal inputs as well as outputs. Um, it also has relay controllers on them for dosing your pumps as well as uh, discharge relays for when uh, you want to actually send something out of your facility. They connect seamlessly with an online portal to allow you to control and adjust as needed and alert uh, the appropriate operators for alarms, as well as we can pre-program these and customize them uh, to fully complement whatever program that you're trying to implement from your wastewater treatment process. One of the things that you do with these controllers is you often actually put them on in the systems with sensors. Uh, some of these sensors are quite uh, technologically advanced in terms of what they can actually provide you. One of the ones we really like in some cases is actually a PTSA probe sensor. This sensor allows us to monitor fluorescence molecules within the, um, within the water. And so there's a beam of light that comes out, activates that molecule, and then we sense that molecule and determine its level so that we can understand whether or not we're ready to discharge or do we have enough of it in the system to treat it for appropriately. Another probe that we like to use uh, for wastewater is our pH probe. Obviously, pH is important and in, 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 in is uh, potentially a critical in terms of uh, discharging any chemistry uh, that you might have at your facility. What this probe does is it allows us to sense the pH, understand where it's at, and determine whether it's high or low. And based on that, it'll actually activate probes or activate uh, relays on these uh, devices that will actually then add acid or bases to actually control that pH so that then you can discharge your water. Another sensor that we use is ORP. Reliable ORP sensors transmit uh, information that provide trend uh, details on disinfection of water. Uh, it can also tell you a little bit about aeration control in your wastewater treatment plants. And then also another you know, very specific example would be detoxification of electroplating baths as another example. Turbidity probes also uh, are utilized uh, quite heavily in the wastewater industry. Um, these tell you a little bit about whether or not you have the ability to settle out the solids that you have in the water, and it correlates directly to your polymer addition. So depending on the turbidity of the water, so high turbidity means it's very cloudy, low turbidity means it's pretty clear, so you've got the solids out and you can discharge. So you can set up parameters which you can actually control the turbidity of your process by utilizing the relays to also control the polymers that you're treating the water with. Conductivity probes are also uh, really great in terms of solid, uh, solids control. This particular um, <clears throat> Uh, system is actually coupled with a flow switch. So flow comes in, comes out the top. This flow switch in here has a little bobber in it that floats. When it's floating, it knows there's flow, so it can actually sense uh, and determine that there's process activity and then activate all the relays in conjunction with how the program. Aside from that, you've got the conductivity probe itself. If we just simply remove that, you'll see here, it's just two electrodes, graphite electrodes, uh, that are used to monitor the electrical potential of that water. Um, thereby also correlating uh, directly with total dissolved solids in the system, or TDS. Corrosion monitoring is another thing that we can integrate with these controllers uh, in real time. So rather than waiting 90 days for a corrosion coupon to develop, you can actually monitor corrosion in real time if you want. Level sensors are also ideal for wastewater treatment. 
we can program these these systems to basically say, hey, when the when the tank levels are full, we need to discharge. Um, it'll also do that based on whether or not the pH is in range or not, uh, or the connectivity or the turbidity, depending on what you've got set. In addition, you can do tank levels for your chemistry. Um, depending on uh, what type of chemistry you're using, if it's liquids or solids, you'll be able to put in probes that would basically tell you, hey, I need to reorder more chemistry, further improving your operation efficiencies. Um, Finally, you also have water meters and flow meters. Those flow meters can be tied into this um, to understand how much water you're actually discharging or how much water you're consuming in your process. And these would be tracked in real time for you and log that information in the database. Overall, in terms of the um, uh, you know, use of digital water uh, treatment, uh, by automating your facilities, you'll always be able to, to achieve better efficiencies in your systems by keeping your operation at maximum efficiency. You'll be able to maintain your ideal water quality on a continual basis. You also ensure that any changes that are observed are noticed in real time, as opposed to reactionary and waiting for days or weeks or months in order to affect change on that process. You're gonna optimize your chemical consumption in real time, so you never have overspend or underspend of your chemistry. It's always where it needs to be for the treatment program that you're using. It'll catch any problems early while there's time to minimize and contain any damage that that might cause. Also, it improves water safety and prevents upsets, prevents upsets before they happen. One other final thing is we really, uh, it does allow you to also demonstrate because of the data logging capabilities, demonstrating your, com your compliance with your local and federal regulations uh, that are put on your facility in terms of maintaining your discharge permit. So with that, I'd welcome you to check it out at getchemready.com. It's on our homepage there. You'll see it there right when you jump on the page. Uh, it's a little dark blue button. If you need to, send us an email, ask for some quotes, or contact your sales representative. They'll be happy to engage with you on this product. With that, thank you for your time. And if you need anything, feel free to reach out and call me uh, with, your, with your questions.